Morning, folks. Morning. Welcome to a Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch. It looks good, Zach. No, it doesn't. <laughs> My guest today here, uh, well, by the way, welcome here on the Tuesday, March 26th. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, you have the opportunity in pre-show to uh, to do all the perfecting. Yeah, but see, this way I get the angle. Well, I got to tell you, you're changing the angle of your of your part there uh, well, in mid too, midstream. Everything's best or, or <laughs> everything, the other direction. Everything's backward. The other direction. <laughs> everything's everything's <laughs> backward. Uh, welcome, uh, folks, again to a big talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. My guest today it, from uh, WNOI Clay County Country himself, Zach. Steal the uh, your your Zach in the morning as uh, he is uh, always uh, ready and willing to bring you the the fun country tunes. Do you really bring fun country tunes, or are they pretty much no, all they're already there? I know, but uh, but are, are they fun for the most part, or are they sad and uh, yes? And, yes. Uh, See, that's the thing about country. I mean, yeah. it's 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 everywhere. It's it's sad. It's happy. It's cheating. It's upbeat, it's downbeat, it's just all over the place. It really can be all over the place. Oh, it's twangy. Twangy or uh, it's, it's rap these days. Really? Oh. You guys playing any of that? The country rap? Well, yeah. That's, that's big. Really? I didn't realize. I, uh, no, I, I, well, I guess I didn't tend realize. I shy away from it. Cause you have to play some, I guess. Yeah, it just, you know, the real popular stuff, but. Well, we'll get to uh, Zach here in just a minute as uh, he contemplates his uh, his placement in the in the world in the universe playing country rap. I've already got it. I've already got it. I can't imagine. No, right where it is. (laughs) I can't imagine it. Uh, Again, you're watching Big Talk on on, uh, Wabash Catch TV over in Salem on Channel Three here in Flora and all other parts uh, elsewhere on Channel 100 or Channel 25 or on YouTube. Thanks so much uh, watching on the Big. Talk with Bruce Dickey channel right here on YouTube. What is going on around the area today? Well, a couple or three community events. It's uh, at the Flora Rehabilitation and Healthcare Center this morning at 10 o'clock. Piano with Mary Kenley. Also, they've got another, more piano coming up this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Dr. Chung will be there. What is uh, oh, Dr. Wang? What is, what, is, what is Dr. Chung's first name? Wang. What? That's not Wang. That's a, that's the band, Wang Chung. It's an entirely different thing. Oh. It's Patrick or something well, like that's that. That's different. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's entirely. They'll be playing as well. May get out there uh, synthesizers and all the whole bit. Uh, who knows? Also, business after hours this afternoon at the uh, Clay County Electric down there uh, on uh, the uh, old fifty heading out of town towards Xenia from uh, Flora that uh, they, they've got that brand new building down there they're in it now have you uh, seen the brand new building yet uh, Zach I have not uh, I've not had a chance to get out that way but I'm sure it's pretty They've done a ton of work. It's it's very impressive, and uh, and I'm, I'm probably going to stop by myself just to uh, see what's going on. Maybe they'll let you play with the squeeze-on tool or something. With the what? The squeeze-on tool. What's the squeeze-on tool? Well, you ask him when you get there. <laughs> I'm not about to ask him what, a, what the squeeze-on tool oh, is. Is it a, a – I mean, I – Well, um, usually I use a, a – a knife as my tool that goes on with my squeeze on when I squeeze on the ketchup I might spread it with a knife or something like that well if you say can I see your squeeze on tool they may go okay fine but give me your finger <laughs> and then the fun starts yeah. <laughs> then the fun gets going fun for everybody that's for sure well they know what it is out there so well, I'm you, sure just, they, you just check i'm not gonna i'm not gonna check. i like the thought though i might check who knows okay. uh welcome uh, let's see it is uh tuesday march 26th today it's national spinach day zach do you like spinach you big spinach fan yeah i can uh i can do spinach really sure yeah how do you like, like your spinach cooked prepared do you like it cooked? Uh, do you like cooked, eat it yeah, raw, uh, raw salad? In a salad, yeah, that's fine. Um, it's an excellent source of calcium. It really doesn't have a whole lot of flavor raw. Folic acid, protein. 
Vitamins A, C, and K. Uh, cooked, just uh, steamed. You don't throw them on the, uh, you don't saute them all? Like, it's just like real flash fry type of thing? That's uh, really kind of fun. What are you talking about, in, in Greece? Actually, deep, deep yeah. fry? Yeah. Saute them a little bit. Oh, I thought you meant like deep fry. No, deep pan fry. fry. Pan fry. I don't think deep fry. Okay, work well, that's, yeah, okay, that's basically the same thing as wilting. Well, this is uh, this is National Spinach Day, and how to observe National Spinach Day? You might want to have a fresh spinach salad, or a spinach pizza, or maybe a warm, delicious spinach dip. That, although you know, you're really loading up. But if you get a spinach, I always have. That's all about the cheese. People get spinach artichoke dips, and it's just cream cheese and mm-hmm. cheese on top. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's with cheese green. with stuff in it. With green stuff in it. Uh, this is also this is, this is more uh, up my alley. This is National Nougat Day. Uh, of course, uh, nougat is uh, uh, it is. Is it nougat or nougat? I've always thought it's nougat. It's it's observed every March 26th. The food holiday is in celebration of the soft and chewy, sometimes hard and crunchy candy. Break open the center of particular candy bars and you will find a nougat center baby ruth has one Um, so there is no such thing as a nougat nugget a nugget and nougat you know like well look at there it's a nougat tree (laughs) no no there is no such thing as a nougat actually there are three different kinds of nougat do tell if you did not realize that white nougat is means it's based How made with time do we have here beaten eggs we got plenty of time uh, beaten eggs with uh, egg whites and honey whereas brown nougat is uh, made without egg whites but has a firmer crunchier texture or uh, yeah often crunchy i think that'd probably be what go into a payday would be that kind of nougat uh, and also the Viennese or German nougat, which is chocolate and nut praline. In, U- in the United States, uh, the nougat used as an ingredient in many modern candy bars is different from the traditional recipes. I always wonder if, it, if like, the Stuckey's bar is nougat. You ever go away? Uh, uh, it was a pecan roll. It's a pecan log. roll, but it, it's, it's so it's... It's something like spun into a roll and then you chopped up, that kind of thing? I don't remember. It's been so long. When's the last time Since you had a, a Stuckies. When you had a, a last time you've have, you have had a Stuckies roll. Oh. I bet you, uh, I bet you the last one I've seen, I know where it was. It was a, next to a Dairy Queen in Mississippi on the way to New York. I was getting ready to say, if you want to see them now, you've got to go south, way south. Yeah. Um, I was thinking farther than Florida this. was the last time I saw one. I well, did not stop. Celebrate nougat. You can find nougats in a Three Musketeers, Mars Bar, Snickers Bar, Milky Way, uh, Zero, Salted Nut Roll, uh, Reese's Fast Break. I've never had one of those. Oh, yeah, those are good. Really? Yeah. How about a Reese's Whip? You ever had a Reese's Whip? They, they suggest never that. Never heard of that. I never have heard of that either. But that's uh, celebrate Nougat Day. Enjoy it. What's going on on Wabash today? What do you want to watch on television? Well, there's got to be something better than Nougat Day. Uh, there were a couple of other ones. There was like Epilepsy Day, and I really didn't well, know how I mean, to something, it. something on TV, but... <laughs> Well, you got baseball. We're talking about nougats. We have baseball. All, we have uh, baseball today. It's uh, Louisville, North Clay High School baseball. They will be hosting the Dietrich Moving Maroons this afternoon at 4.30. And that's going to be on, uh, of course, right here on this same Wabash Catch TV so channel. Dries channel, out. Channel, well, yeah, that was what I was wondering. Well, it's not supposed to rain. It's supposed to be sunny today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tuesday's supposed to be sunny. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, But uh, cold. Ooh. Well, that won't be any fun playing baseball, but uh, maybe it'll dry up enough. Maybe get a nice little well, it's breeze. It's not going to dry today. It's not going to dry Monday. It's not going to dry on Monday. All right. Okay. Well, what else? Yesterday. Yeah, sorry. yesterday. Now didn't, you've got didn't me dry yesterday. Now you have me intri- incredibly confused, Zach. Okay. Well, uh, the game's Tuesday. The game's Tuesday. That's, That's today. correct. The For those game of you is watching Tuesday. Watching us on television is today. If you're unless watching, this, you, unless you're watching on the all tube on Monday, then it's they might be watching it on the all tube on Monday. That's a possibility. What else is on television? Do you want me to point at that? You're at that camera right now. Do you want to go back to that one if you're looking up? It's up to you. 
Which do you prefer, Zach? Uh, it makes me no difference. I just need to know which one. Let's go to that one for now. <laughs> Doing that one. Uh, NIT tournament continues tonight. It's quarterfinals. Uh, the uh, Wichita State Shockers are in, at Indiana, and that's uh, that game is on ESPN Channel 601. Does also, Creighton care? is at TCU. I know a ton of people who care about that. They're Indiana fans. They want to see Indiana play. Indiana played well. You're just fired up because you're all, uh, all because of the NCAA tournament. No. No? No. Is that going on? <laughs> what else is on tonight? In, uh, also in basketball, the Chicago Bulls are at the Toronto Raptors. That's on NBC Sports Channel, Channel 643 at 630 tonight. A doubleheader on TNT tonight. Houston Rockets at the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, that'll be followed up by the uh, Washington Wizards at the Los Angeles Lakers. And finally. Such a VCR. Yeah, it's set, set your DV or DV. Does anybody still have a VCR? I do. Do you really? Yeah. Does it work? Well, last time I used it, it did. What's the last time you used it to record something? I don't know, probably 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Hockey! Carolina Hurricanes are at the Washington Capitals tonight. That's at 6 o'clock. That is Zach Steele. And he's a WNOI Clay County Country at, uh, what is that, 99.3? On your dial. We're going to come back. We're going to talk to Zach. We're going to talk about all kinds of other things when we return. Do stick around. We'll be right back. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction. With the strongest non-prorated warranty in the industry. Plus, Morton's exclusive energy performer insulation system provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit mortonbuildings.com. It's my choice. It's my choice. It's my choice. So many of our county residents have treatment or surgeries done at larger hospitals. What they don't always realize is that they have a choice. A choice to select where they can have physical therapy or any number of post-operative treatments and follow-ups. Clay County Hospital is your choice. Talk with your specialist, surgeon, or primary care provider and let them know that you want to stay close. Close to family, friends, and most importantly, home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone services required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at bruced at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970 big talk with bruce dickey hey thanks for watching 
At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Learning our way around the studio by way of Zach Steele. He is. He, thank you, by the way, for your engineering, uh, your engineering prowess and being able to uh, help me out there, Zach. That's glad to help. help. Glad to help. Uh, welcome back, folks. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. I'm Bruce Dickey. My guest today is I'm Zach not. Steele, and uh, you know he is not Bruce Dickey, but uh, we uh, we have a lot of things in common. We are both huge, gigantic baseball fans, aren't we, Zach? Um, you know, I don't know that I've got the fanaticism. Is that a word? Is yeah, that's a word. Fanaticism that you have, but uh, out of all the sports, yeah, that's the one I go with. Uh, you're a big Chicago mm -hmm. Cubs fan, mm -hmm. I, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. uh, Which what? makes you the dire enemy. Yeah, well, I'm wearing Cubs blue today, so, well, not quite Cubs blue, but it's blue. Yeah, blue's blue. Yes. But, uh, yeah, I am, I'm the Cardinal fan. I am the Cardinal fan. How are uh, we are we're beginning a season Thursday, yes. day after tomorrow. Season is starting. Mm -hmm. uh, are you ready for the big new season to start, or are you uh, looking Yeah, forward? I'm ready. Um, the only problem I've got, and it's a large one, is that I can't watch any of the games. Well, I thought you could probably watch the games because they play afternoon games for the... Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Why not? Well, WGN oh, they still went to WGN America. Yeah. It used to be you would get the local WGN programming. Wherever. Wherever. Well, no more. WGN is just plain local Chicago only now, mm -hmm. in the Chicago area. So either Chicago is, uh, the Cubs are going to be on WGN, they're going to be on ESPN, or, or they're going to be on NBC MLB. Sports Channel Chicago, which well, you don't get don't where get you live. Here. It's on, we have that on Wabash, by the way. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I don't have access to Wabash, where I live. <laughs> Just telling you. It's on Wabash or television. It's going to be on MLB Network. Yeah. Well, the problem is, I don't know who thinks that Wayne County or Clay County, Illinois, is in the Chicago market. Uh, not too many people, I guess. But MLB, ESPN, or the cable company that I have. <coughs> I know what you're saying. It's... You're going to talk about blackout rules. Yeah. Out of, you know, they say. It's the worst. Out of market only. Well, I'm out of market. You're way out of market. You're you're 250 miles from downtown, from Wrigley Field. Yeah. But, no, it's all blacked out. Typically, the only time I can watch it is if uh, ESPN has it as a game of the week, which is going to be Sunday night. Oh, they do have this, this Sunday. If, yeah, they'll carry it if it's an ESPN Sunday night baseball. Other than that, you lose it? Don't get a warning. Blackout? Yeah, everything's blackout. You know why they do that? The cable company blacks out uh, ESPN during You know the why week. they do that? Then. MLB. Why they do that? That's so you'll go to the game. Well, I understand that. But that ain't going to happen. <laughs> they don't understand. Do you that. realize that Clay County and Wayne County? I used to. I used to on a on a, a, a rival uh, a cable or dish organization. I used to uh, take the out of market games. You know, I would. Uh, I, I bought the package, which is two hundred dollars. Yeah, I could probably spend a. a they have a the ton same of money, but they have the same problem. The out of markets, they don't show you. Well, and. And let me tell you how many teams 
Wayne County, Illinois, and Clay County, Illinois are in the market of. <laughs> we are in. You said Chicago. It's uh, both Chicago, the Cubs, and the, the uh, and the White Sox. We're in Milwaukee's market. We are in Kansas City's market. Right. We are in the Cardinals market, St. Louis market, and we are in Cincinnati's market. Now, every Cardinal game, I can watch every Cardinal game because they're on Fox Sports Midwest. That's correct. So, you know, I can get that. But the way I've got it figured, I haven't checked, but I think this blackout of the Cubs yeah. is anywhere in the state of Illinois. If your address, if you're on a cable system, in Illinois, it's going to be blacked out. I'll bet you the people down in Carbondale. <laughs> that's not entirely watch, true. Cannot that's, watch the games. Oh yeah, well no, that, that's true. That is true. You, you are as you are in part of the blackout unless you are getting. Why well, and WGN? You're not going to get WGN no. uh, local anywhere. Not even with an aerial. Not even no, that's correct. Well, that'd be a pretty good long. Well, it'd long be pretty tall. Kick. But even if you have uh, the uh, the NBC Sports Chicago channel uh, here on Wabash, you'd probably get about half the games. We're working to get. What? I'm going to run a, 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 a thirty mile drop cord up here. To <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't be that long. Hook into the cable. <laughs> It's not going to be that long, Zach. It's not, it's the, the drop cord will be pretty short, as a matter of fact. It'll be short. Well, I just ask you how the Cubs going to do this year. That's why I'm I don't, asking I don't, You know, I'm not optimistic. Uh, given this offseason, uh, I'm just not op optimistic at all. You know, they were basically the same roster we quit with last season. They were wanting to get Bryce Harper. Well, it didn't happen. That didn't happen. No. Uh, everybody else has improved themselves. I say everybody else. I'm talking to Cardinals, uh, Brewers. Uh, we've done squat. Now, I don't think they're going to make much of a difference by changing their culture over the winter. That's what they're doing. Whatever now. that means. Yeah. I, actually, I'm not sure what that means. I read the whole article, and it was about 4,000 words, and it was still, <clears throat> I didn't really understand it. Well, you know, the season opens Thursday, and, and that's not looking good for us. I say us. The Why not? The Cubs. Well... <laughs> Nine straight road games. You've already, <laughs> you've already, you're already depressed. This sounds like the Cubs Nine fans of 2000. Nine straight road games to open the season. This sounds like Cub fans from 1995. Did you just already? Three at Texas. Texas isn't any good. The Houston is. Three at Atlanta. They're pretty good. And then three at Milwaukee. They're really good. Before the home opener. Yeah. Home opener is not till April 8th. Now, I would imagine there is a reason for that, given the Chicago weather this time of year. <laughs> I doubt they even put that much thought into it. Well, they might have. They might have. Nine <coughs> road games before we get a home. We're opener. talking with a supremely depressed and uh, uh, pessimistic Zach Steele right here on Wabash Catch TV. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. We'll be right back after these. Do stick around. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction, with the strongest non-prorated warranty in the industry. Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit mortonbuildings.com. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City 
Allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hey, what not? We sneak in. Welcome back, folks. Thanks very much for watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here. My guest is Zach Steele. He <laughs> is uh, the uh, your morning uh, sw uh, swinging the, uh, the records there at the... Uh, Clay County Country. You're not swinging records anymore. We've talked about that before. Is it swinging or swinging? Slinging. I, I did say swinging, yes, didn't you I? Did. Yeah, that's, Check the uh, tape. that's really incorrect. Uh, what is, uh, how do you, how'd you get by with, uh, did you enjoy your um, recent St. Patrick's Day and uh, the holiday before that year where you skipped forward an hour? How do you get? How do you enjoy that being an early morning person? I'm assuming, well, I, I, yeah. I'm assuming that does not occasionally go well. No, it goes fine with me. Really? Yeah. You're, I figured this out years ago. What's that? Uh, I do not change the clock when I go to bed. Okay. You know, like they always say, change the clocks when you go to bed Saturday night. No. That just messes with your sleep. Okay. I go ahead, go to bed my regular time, sleep, get up at my regular time, and then change the clock. On Sunday. Yeah. So, for example, uh, a couple of weeks ago, what I lost was, or gained, I gained an hour of doing nothing on Sunday. Well, I guess that's right, but then you lost an hour of sleep on Monday night, no, right? No, I didn't. No, no. You ended up going to bed at the same time? Yeah, basically. Um, Whenever I'm sleepy, I go. To, I go to sleep, man. Well, I've got to, you've got me confused. I I, I would think that the, it, that was the one. Of the well, you're either going to lose sleep or you're going to lose something else, or you're going to gain or you're going to gain something else. Now in the fall, when you turn your clock back, I don't do that. I do it Sunday morning. Then I lose an hour of doing something Sunday, like sitting around to read the paper or. Scratch myself or whatever. You know, <laughs> well, <that's laughs> I try to keep them as far you know, away from sleep is, as possible. The interesting thing to me is you're you don't really lose an hour of light. You're actually one of the few people who are gaining light because you were not you weren't seeing morning light anyway. Yes, I was. Were you were you starting to see yeah, morning light? Yeah, about five thirty. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, whammo. And whammo, it's gone. Just throw our light in the evening when I'm not out doing anything. <laughs> Especially in March. Why did we move it up anyway? In what do you March. Mean? Where had it been? It had been April. It was, right? in, it was in April. Yeah. And now they've moved it up two, three weeks. Why? I, you, you can't go out in the evening and do anything. So it's light till 6.30, 6.45 now in the evening. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's 28 degrees, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what good's it doing? It just makes it dark up until 7 or 7.30 in the morning. Now, does that mess with you when you're uh, trying to uh, uh, 
uh, check the phases of the moon or work on your garden or whatever? Or do you still do that? I don't do that. So you don't do that? No, I don't check the phases of the moon. I, I, what? Why not check the? I thought you ch- like checking the phase of the moon. So when you know, no, I could not care less what it is. Well, you're always telling people what well, it is. Well, that's if they think. care. I'm just providing info. <laughs> oh, well, well, you sound like you're interested in it. No. Do people ever ask you about it like I just did? Like a, no. Like a ding you're, dong? You're, you're the first. Well, that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell you what, there's a lot of things that uh, end up on the air that I don't give two hoots about. But it's just providing info. I'm not solely talking about things that I'm concerned with. Well, now that's true. That's understandable. I, yeah, yeah I, I can see that. I can see that from a long way off. There is one thing I'm concerned with, and I'm going to put it to you. All right. As a former radio... No, it has nothing to do with radio. Oh, okay. This is sports. All right. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Be glad to answer any sports questions you might have. Okay. I don't think you'll be able to answer this one correctly. Oh, correct. Or at least to my satisfaction. We'll see what we can do. All right. We all know the definition of it, what it means... Okay. What I want to know is, where did it come from? The etymology. Of? Of? The rubber game. The rubber game. <laughs> I'm going to, okay, this is going to take a, a minute for me to come up with a good one for, I mean this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's making stuff up. <laughs> Well, you see now uh, the rubber. The rubber isn't it? Doesn't it have something to do with the, with with pool with billiards? Because you're, you're moving the uh, you're moving the uh, the things. Up That's top. a new one. That's a new one. I, I have researched this high and low. I think the rubber game. Uh, actually, yeah. I really do think the rubber game is when you're playing straight pool. And that you, was not anywhere included in I'm any. Just, I'm just telling you what I think it is. You asked. I'm telling. Okay. It's when you're playing straight. Well, pool. I said to my satisfaction, and you ain't close. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, when you're when you're moving the uh, the little chits up there, or whatever you call them, like a little abacus, and you run into the to the end, and, and it's got the stopper there, the rubber stopper on your on your chit in the pool hall, and uh, and then you and it's the rubber stopper, so that means. Well, the next match is the rubber game because it's going to decide. It's it's for the whole ball of wax. It's for all the uh, all the marbles. The whole ball of wax, Zach. I understand what the definition of it is. Well, I'm saying it's, it's from a, the it's rubber. A, uh, I'm it's saying a tie it's from the rubber but, thing on the. But, uh, but maybe somebody didn't hit that rubber thingy down there, and you still ended up tied. Well, I, I guess it all depends on how many games you're playing in the particular match. Is the rubber game? Well, it's got to be an odd numbered one, but yeah, yeah. But it comes. Okay, so you can't answer. That. <laughs> Everything no. I have researched on this, <laughs> the most prominent answer is nobody knows where it came from. Well, now that's that's a bunch as of, a definition. That is not as a definition you. for a tiebreaker. I cannot believe that you have put actual time and you research at, well into this. Yeah, because I'm curious. And w- and when they say this and that and the other, like you, well, I mean, it's always still it's been it's a baseball series has always you know if it's yeah, a no, three we game know the series, definition. Somebody says a rubber, rubber game, game, we know what they're talking about. But where did that come from? And why does it mean tiebreaker? Some say it came from bridge, because I guess in the game of bridge, there's something called a rub or a rubber. Uh, back in the 1500s. They don't go best out of three in bridge, though. Well, but it doesn't have anything to do with that, I guess, oh. in bridge. But there is something in bridge called a rubber or a rub or something. Right. And it may have a completely separate meaning. Too bad Omar Sharif is no longer with well, us. He'd probably be able to tell us. Well, he could tell us what it means in bridge. Yeah. But that may not be... Well, he might be old. Tiebreaker. He might be old enough because it's not. It's not like it's. Well, no, no, no. no, This ought to. We ought to be able to find something because it's not like we had rubber in the 1700s or the or the 1800s. Well, some of the stuff I found goes back into the 1500s. 
when certain sporting events... Well, there was rubber, I guess, but... Well, no. But it wasn't. No. Certain games were called a rub. Yeah. Therein lies the rub. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with sports. Well, I know, but that's why I've used the term. Well, it's probably Shakespeare, too, right? 1500s. You're trying to get me off your pool thing here. <laughs> the bottom line is nobody knows. It cannot be found. It cannot be. Nothing can be pointed to a specific reason to call a tiebreaker a rubber game or a rubber match or whatever. I boy, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm surprised that you've done that. I really am surprised that you've done well, that kind of uh, of uh, research and haven't found it. Because you're, you're a, a relatively intelligent person. We'll be right back. Somebody baby. write that down. <laughs> Date and time. <laughs> you're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. Uh, I'm, I'll be back with Zach right after these. Please do stick around. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction. With the strongest non-pro-rated warranty in the industry, 
Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit mortonbuildings.com. Morning, folks. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Thank you so much for tuning in, uh, guest today. It is Zach Steele from uh, Clay County Country. Ninety nine point three on your dial. What time do you start in the morning? What time are you on the air? What's the? Well, uh, I start yapping at six. You start gabbing at six, and people, yeah. you go all the way to eleven. One. To one. It's magic today, folks. Wow. But yeah. No kidding. Yeah. You're like some kind of uh, fascinating machine, aren't you? Well, not so much anymore, but <laughs> All right, there was a time. <laughs> you mentioned uh, earlier that uh, hip-hop, is the hip-hop in country or rapping country? It's called country rap, yeah. Country rap. Who, mm-hmm. who are some of the... Uh, don't ask me. You don't know who these people are? No. You don't know their names? No. <laughs> but I know it when I hear it. I bet you do. Uh, is uh, whenever you know you get the opportunity to talk to your friend from Nashville every mm-hmm. uh, week or so, mm-hmm. does he tell you about the the, the new country rap going on, no. or, or uh, what do you what, what's going on in Nashville? Well, the thing of it is that particular program is not necessarily uh, completely about the music industry. You know, there, really? are, there are other things happening in Nashville. Uh, well, let's see, what, a week or so ago, you had the SEC tournament going on down there. Okay. We talked about that a little bit. Um, so he's kind of the uh, traveling leisure guy type yeah, of guy. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's some music stuff in there. Excuse me. There's some music stuff in there, but uh, it's a little bit about everything. Like if you're planning a trip to Nashville, here's some of the things you know that might be happening at this date, that date, whatever. They've got Fan Fest or something coming up, don't they? Is that, is that the next next month or maybe that's June? Uh, we haven't touched on that yet, so mm. I'm not sure. The next big thing that's going to hit town is the NFL draft. They're doing that in Nashville? Yeah, outside. I did not know that. I, I mm, Yeah, they've set up or are going to set up a uh, – I can't remember where it's going to be. It's downtown. Uh, they'll have a stage and a whole ball of wax set up down there. That's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, they bring there's there'll be fifty to a hundred thousand people, um, basically just hanging around downtown Nashville. Yeah, and I guess you know if the weather's no good, they'll probably move it to the uh, to the Gaylord or something. No, I'd say probably uh, Bridgestone Arena. Is that the one downtown also? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah where the hockey and. Uh, and all of the, uh, con- the, the concerts yeah. and uh, all that happy. CMA and that kind yeah. of thing. So they're already through with their uh, with all their awards. Well, no, there's another one coming up uh, within the next month. And I can't remember. Hmm. There's just so many of them anymore. Well, you got CMA. You've got the Academy. That's, that's Academy over. of Country Music, whatever that is. That's a different thing than CMA, right? No, that's CMA. Oh, that is CMA. Yeah, it's Country Music Association. Yeah, it's. Well, I thought there was a different one. I thought you had the Academy of Country. Well, that pretty much became the CMA. They oh. just changed the name of it. But then you have there's two or th- there <clears throat> there are a bunch of those things, aren't there? Oh yeah, yeah. Some of them are picked by people. Some of them are picked by hoity toities. You know, uh, you just had the. Uh, well, I don't know if it's been held yet. The uh, new uh, Hall of Fame folks. Oh, the Country Music Hall uh, yeah, of Fame induction. Yeah, we just re- recently announced. I don't know that they've had the ceremony yet. Uh, new artist uh, inducted into the Opry. I don't think they've had that ceremony yet. These now things, that's these things kind of run in stages. They prob- do they already have the uh, the calendar all kind of worn out throughout the year? Or pretty set, much. Pretty much. Set up yeah. throughout the year. Yeah, pretty much. It's like any anywhere else in the other town, you know, you've got to make plans well in advance of things you're going to have. It's like the Garth concert over here at St. Louis, you know. That was a big deal. Yeah, well, everywhere he's been in this stadium tour he's running. Has he's been selling a, them out, right? Yeah, it's been a big deal. I don't think he sold out St. Louis, but it was close. Really? 
He had 75,000 people or some yeah. crazy number in there. Well, it was close. And uh, everybody that I talk, I've talked to a couple people who went. Somebody's making money off that stuff. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, because those were not cheap tickets. I don't think it's all going to Garth. <laughs> well, sound like you for Probably sure. going to Trisha. She came out over at St. Louis. She popped out on stage there toward the end, which is no big shock. But plays. She's not going to let him go out by himself. Oh, that's what I was wondering. Garth kind of has to be on a little bit of a leash, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, now we don't know that. I'm certain I'm certain that Mr. Brooks, and uh, he, he, I'm certain he's never signed a uh, hotel uh, a hotel registry as Chris Gaines. You don't think, do you? I seriously doubt he stays in too many hotels. Oh, really? Where's oh, he going? Really? Well, you know, if he doesn't spend a night on the big bus, I'm sure they've probably uh, got a property or two out in Ladue. You know? Well, he's not from there. So, he can spend the night. Well, I need a nice house for me and my troop. Well, now that's probably true, too. You know, I don't see him checking in down to. You don't see him going up to the holiday no Hotel Motel, no. <laughs> Can I get a room, please? Hey, I need a room for 150 people. For sure. Like, what's your license number? <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your tag? <laughs> My tag is G A R T H on the side of that really large bus. Uh, roll well, down the Huey road. Patel doesn't know Garth Brooks. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's probably true. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Well, my guest is Zach Steele. We're going to take one more break. We're going to come back, wrap things up with Zach. You, please do stick around. Back in a sec. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Le Mans always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMansOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your healthcare needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for healthcare, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. The difference between a good building and a great building is craftsmanship. It's about taking pride in the finished product. It's about being a professional. Unlike other construction companies, you work with Morton Building's craftsmen from conception to completion. 
From the plant employees who roll the steel, to the company driver who delivers the materials to the construction crews, every one of them are Morton employee owners who take pride in exceeding your expectations. Discover the Morton difference today at mortonbuildings.com. We're folks. <laughs> Welcome to a Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Bruce. Wabash Catch TV. My guest today Crowning is moment. Crowning moment. Zach Steele of WNOI, Clay County Country, joining us this morning. We do appreciate him uh, taking time out of his busy schedule to be here. Uh, we were talking about uh, the strangest thing. You uh, uh, Yesterday, I got my Sunday paper, and uh, I, I, I'm a subscriber. So I get the uh, the paper thrown at me, mm -hmm. and it had Thursday's comics in it. That's that's odd. I've never never seen that. It was a new one to me too, and uh, looked. I wonder if that was uh, you know nationwide. Well, not nation, but region wide, paper wide, for, region wide for the St. Louis Post Dispatch. I don't know. Could have been. Uh, now, does St. Louis, does the Post, do they do an Illinois version, much like the Evansville Courier does or used to do? No. No, they uh, they have so. they have a metro that they'll throw in the uh, St. Louis side. So the, the Illinois side doesn't have that particular metro, okay. uh, that particular metro, but they don't do an Illinois anymore. They may have used to. Um, but that's but that got me to thinking: Where would I have gone to get a newspaper in uh, in uh, to if I really wanted to kill somebody to read the Sunday comics? I have no idea. I don't know, and I haven't looked for one in so long. You don't read but the paper? Not anymore. How come? Well, everything's available, you know, online. If you really want to find out about something, you can find it out at the touch of a finger right now. Well, yeah, but, but I, I, I like do kind of miss. Yes, I do kind of miss the paper. But uh, I subscribed to it. I had it thrown at me, as you say. Uh, I don't think I used the D, but. Uh, <laughs> but well, that's country. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's country. <laughs> um, but I only took Sunday. You know, could not, I, you think not I, during the week. You think I could probably get it? Uh, uh, if I tried to pick it up, like at a convenience store, or maybe one of the big boxes or something like that. Possibly. Do you go to the big box stores much? Not unless it's life and death, or death, and I have no choice but to do it. Really? You just avoid them. I like the plague. You know, if uh, sometimes you can't see the plague coming, but. If, if if I can, <laughs> if you can see the plague, man, <laughs> more power to you. No, the march. Um, hmm. no. Do you ever? Uh, do you, have you ever spent much time at a uh, at a wall at a at a mart? I spent a week in there one night. Um, <laughs> A week in there one night. Huh? Yeah, and that was uh, traipsing around behind She Who Must Be Obeyed. And it was probably one of the worst experiences of my entire life. Really? Yeah, because she, and obviously a lot of other she's, cannot go in there and just shop. It becomes an event no, of, no. oh, hey, tell me, how's that, how's that case of chicken pox? <laughs> <laughs> For what? Well, now, you you mentioned to me something about you might have had to work at, a, at one of them. Well, I did, and um, <clears throat> one of my crowning glories in broadcasting. Oh, really? Yes. Um, Wonderful. They give you the key to the city and everything. At uh, the Mart, one of the uh, Marts, doing a remote broadcast. Well, wonderful. Yeah. 
And uh, the order came in out to the radio station that okay. uh, we want a uh, three-hour remote, or three two-hour two hour, two hour remote on such such a date at such and such a time. Okay. All right. Fine and dandy. So I load up all the gear, take it out there, yeah, and you're showing uh, the people how the sausage is made right now, aren't you? Inside radio. Stuff. Oh. Well, I wasn't gonna get to the sausage, but take all the stuff okay out there and uh, i'm looking for somebody to tell me you know where i need to be okay what you want me to promote this and that and the other so i get the store manager and she's like i don't know i don't know anything about this she hadn't made the buy no it came from corporate down in arkansas and nobody at the store knew anything about it no kidding Yes, kidding. Or no, no kidding. Wow. Yeah, nobody knew, had a clue. And I said, all right, well, here's what I'm supposed to do. Where can I set up? She says, I don't care as long as it's out of the way. <laughs> well, uh, I'll get to a little bit of the sausage on this. That's uh, welcoming. Um, we're using a radio transmitter to produce a radio signal to shoot back to the radio station. Okay. Well, this particular mart, as most, uh, made out of concrete blocks, and you're not going to shoot a 35-watt signal out of there. No. Not for four or five miles that it needed to go. And uh, the nearest power, they didn't have any available outside close enough to get to my 100-feet-long extension. So I called out to the station. They said, all right, we're doing this on the phone. So I did the first one sitting inside my truck <laughs> with my cell phone. I had a little flyer. And I'm, I'm, I'm reading all these specials. You know, uh, okay, come on out today only from three to five o'clock. You know, we, these flowers on special. Blah 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 blah. And I get done with that first broadcast, and I just says to myself, "Self, self, I got a better idea." All right, good. What's a better idea? I drove back to the house. <laughs> Since they didn't want you in there to start with. I drove back to the house, and I did the other seven reports from my recliner with my little flyer <laughs> on my cell phone. <laughs> Hey, it's a beautiful day here at your local mart. Come on out, my God. We've got specials all over this place. If you get here in the next 15 minutes, you can get petunias at half price. Find me. Find me and I'll hand you out a yeah. cooling cup. <laughs> Find me. I got a $100 bill for you. you know, I, no, I, I didn't do that, but yeah. I did basically the entire remote broadcast from my house in the living room in my recliner. Uh, okay, I gotta ask then. Did because anybody, nobody at the store knew. Well, did anybody from the station ever ever uh, hear wonder where they were missing? Like I just I, I, I just told like I, I just told whoever was uh, the board op at the time. I said, look. Technically, I don't have the ability to set up where I need to be to shoot a good signal back to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do this on the phone. <laughs> I tell you what. And that's, that's how it's done. That's how he just made some sausage for us. Thank you so much, Zach, for it's your It's the first time that story's ever been told, but I don't work for them anymore, and if they get mad... Woo, me neither! Me neither! Okay. Me neither! <laughs> Hey, Zach, thanks very much for coming on. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, folks, thanks very much for watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. See you soon.